Hello YouTube, Raul here. Today we're back with the Tailwind CSS course. In this video we're gonna look at some typography classes and how you can style your text. Let's get started. First, let's look at the size of the text. The first class we're gonna look at is text XS and this is gonna make our text really small. After that, I'm just gonna duplicate this line right here. In VS Code, you can do that by holding Shift, Alt, and the arrow down key. The next one for text is text SM. Now, this will be a little bigger. Then we can do text base. This is gonna be the default size of the text. You can use this maybe if you do some hover effects to return your styling to normal. We'll look at hover effects in a later video. After that, we have text LG which is text large, it's a, it's a little bit bigger. Also, this increases the line height, so it doesn't only increase the font size, but also the line height of the text, making it all look a little bit better to, together. After that, we have text Excel, and again, it goes bigger. After Excel, there is two Excel, and it goes up, I'm not gonna do all of them, but it goes up until 9XL, and 9XL is really, really big. So. I'm gonna leave some comments to, to 9XL. Okay, so these are the font sizes. For the moment, I'm gonna comment out these, or at least this big one, because it gets in the way quite a lot. And we're gonna use this text to Excel because we have a little bit of a bigger text right here. We can actually go to like 4XL. And let's use this one for the rest of the video. So next we have italic text. So I can do just add the class italic. If you have italic text on something and want to remove it, you can also add non, I, non dash italic and it will remove it. It doesn't do much for this because non italic is the default here, but this is the way to do it. Next, after this, we have bold text, so, or actually the font weight of the text, and it goes from font weight 100, which is font thin, and it looks like this. Then we have font extra light, extra light in one word. After that, we have font light which is again going up as we go on. Then after that, it's normal. Then we go into more bolder font sizes. So we have medium. Oh, I actually added two without saving. So no, this one is normal and then we have the medium one. Then we have font semi bold. After that, we have font bold, then extra bold. And the last one, it's called font black. This is the biggest one. It's equivalent to font weight 900. So normally you would use probably the font light and font bold and the font normal. These are the most common used ones, but you can go from font weight 100 to font weight 900. Now I'm going to comment these out and we're going to go further. I'm going to again get this H1. Let's make it 4XL again. Okay, then we have text aligns. So we can do, if we want to align the text right, we can do text right and it will align it to the right. Then there is text center. Also, there is text left for aligning them to the left. And the last one is text justify, which you won't be able to see it until I add some more text. So let's add some more text right here and the text will be justified. You can see it here on the first line. Next, let me comment these and let's go further to text colors. By default, Tailwind has some predefined colors. These will also be the same for borders, for background colors, for gradients. They're really nice to use and they help you create a pretty nice UI. So let's look at some of them. First, there is transparent. So you can do text transparent. This will make your font transparent. Then after that, you have text black. This will make it black. Then there is white. So these are, and then we go to colors. And here's where Tailwind gets really nice. 
it has some hues so it goes from almost white to almost black for each of the colors let's start with gray so we have text gray 50 this is the lightest one of them and you can barely see it right here then it goes up to 100 is the next one and then it's in it increments with 100 so 200 then we have 300 and so on uh, I, I'm not gonna put all of them but it goes up to 900 and the lightness of it increases then there are multiple colors for which you can have all of these use I'm gonna copy the 500 one because it's the best color representation and let's do some different colors so we have text red 500 then we have text yellow 500 text green 500 blue indigo purple and the last one is pink and you can mix and match the nuances so anywhere you can do let's do the indigo to be 300 for example the purple to be 800 green can be 700 and the, their nuances will change as you go this way you can create a really nice color scheme and you get to keep it consistent in one of the later videos we'll look at how you can add your custom colors to change the behavior from the predefined ones in a later video we'll look at how you can add your custom colors and how you can use those custom colors but for now these are a lot of nuances and you can get pretty much any ui using these colors next we have some opacity for the text just for the text not for the background of a, of a text so let's get this blue 500 and adding to it we will add text opacity and we, let's start with 50 so we have a really transparent one right here. let me comment out the other ones so they don't mess the layout and you know what we're looking at okay so we have opacity of 50 and this again goes like the other ones it goes to 100 and then after that it goes up to 900 so i'm just gonna add a few more and this way the text becomes goes from transparent to more opaque okay now after this um, i'm gonna continue using this one so next is text decoration so if we want to underline a text you add the underline class if you want to remove the underline you can add a no dash underline class to a text and if you save it here it, will, it won't do anything because it, it doesn't have an underline but for an anchor tag it would remove the underline after this there is text decoration line through so it will draw a line through the text it's like this so line through and the last one I want to show you is about uppercase and lowercase text. So let's remove the underline and I'm going to add the uppercase class. And this will make all my text uppercase. Then we have the lowercase and it will make all the text lowercase. And we can also do capitalize. So let's remove the capital letters from hello YouTube and we can do capitalize. And this will capitalize all our words. Okay, these are not all the class names that you can use for typography, but it covers pretty much the basics. If you want to look at all of them, the Tailwind documentation is really nice. So if you go to Tailwind CSS and here go to the documentation and scroll down to typography for now, you can have you have here a lot more properties this is it for the typography in the next video we're gonna look at paddings and margins thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video